Hey y'all, I guess I'm in a video making mood today. <laughs> so I decided to come back on and show you the bag that I'm carrying this week for work. And it is the Leisure Shopper by Dooney in the Greta Novelty print. Um, and it's navy. Now, um, this is not my style bag. <laughs> at all and since we're on a roll of youtube's made me do it this is another youtube made me do it um i can't contribute it to one person in particular um because i saw this bag on a couple channels um and i've been thinking about the large leisure shopper for a minute um and when i decided to pull the trigger they no longer had the plain ones they only had the novelty ones at that time so i said you know what who knows, you just don't know with them how long it's gonna take them to come back. I probably should have waited it out, been a little patient, and I could have got one without the novelty, but I had already purchased this, and it came with the accessory piece. I'm gonna pull it out. So I decided to go ahead and get it, and it was a great price over the fall holidays or whatever. So, and I had points dollars so I got it um I don't have very many big totes in my opinion I have probably like maybe five or six totes true totes in this size I have some small totes that function as handbags but I only have like maybe five or six totes true totes um and that's probably all I need in life <laughs> to be honest um because I don't I'm just not a tote. I, I'm only going to use it for one purpose, and that's a work bag. Or I take that back. Maybe a travel bag. But um, because I don't have a green bag, it's March, it's spring. I said, I'll go ahead and use this one. It does have some green cupcakes. It has a little green accents. I do have a grass green um, tech pouch though now that i say it maybe i could pull that out to go with that but um that's i don't know i'm gonna try that but i just wanted to go ahead and use it it feels like spring though so i was gonna use it last month for february because of the hearts and stuff but i ended up using a different bag i got maybe i'll do a video on that one <laughs> yeah bag band who what stop lying girl um but I just thought it was super cute. So go ahead and pull it out and try it. You know, I've had it for some months now. Go ahead and carry it. And what I have to say about the large leisure shopper, this is another bag that I kind of get the hype on. Um, I was able to put all my stuff. Normally when I carry work, like my one of my bigger purses for work, I still end up with things in my hand. With this bag, there's nothing in my hand. I can put a water bottle in here. I can put files in here. I can put um, keys on my, you know, on my toiletries. Everything I need can fit in this bag. So um, I don't know. I was like, okay, maybe this is what I need in my life for work. So I'm gonna do a quick mod shot. I'm gonna try to do a better job on these mod shots. Let's see if I move this camera back some not just adjust it but let's move it back bear with me a second <clears throat> so because i didn't have it high enough on the last video but i think i got it right this one um so yeah that's my large leisure shopper and the novelty print the sh shoulder drop now i want to do a, a mod shot just to show you the shoulder drop. I'm 5'8". So, um, I ain't gonna tell my size right now because I'm working on it. <laughs> but, uh, it is just... The shoulder drop is awesome. Now, I have the small leisure, which I love. Um, and works as a great handbag. But, and I sometimes use it for work, but I can't get everything I need into it comfortably in that respect. But this bag right here... I got absolutely everything I needed in it. So I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I really enjoy carrying it so far this week. I haven't, had, you know, this week is only Tuesday, but I really enjoyed it. And I love that it came with an accessory. So I'm going to show you the other thing 
that I wanted to show you. The reason why I actually did this video, I just decided to share um, the Leisure Shopper with you guys. But the reason I did this video is because on a recent glitch sale that they had on Isle of Duty, I picked up for the third time this piece right here, which is the Carrington, Carrington pouch. This one is in bone. Now, <laughs> I have a sort of, I don't know, I don't want to call it love-hate relationship, but I've bought the Carrington three times. So, I saw other YouTubers, particularly Dooney Addict 615, talk about Carrington Pouch, and I'm, I'm easily influenced. So I wanted to try it out. I purchased it the first time in caramel. And when it came, I thought that pouch is too big for me. So I returned it. Um, last year, I purchased it in bone. And I didn't think it was too big at that time. Cause I, I kind of had, I was prepared for the size of it, but the bag I bought it to go with, it just felt like it overwhelmed the bag, which was a, small Lexington, you know, and can't fit nothing in there. So I sold it to a friend who loved it and has used it. When I saw her using it, I was like, maybe I could have made that piece of work, <laughs> which is my usual. I sell something or I get rid of it. I'm like, what is she doing? You, should, you probably should have gave that piece a better chance. So on a recent glitch sale they had on I Love Dooney, I tried it again. And now this is after, this third purchase, of course, is after going back to somewhat normal behavior after quarantine and you have to have an, a, you know, extra stuff in your bag and me needing a slightly bigger work bag. So that's why another reason why I think it works so great for me. And I've become accustomed to using the Target pouches. So this size did not scare me anymore after that. And it's just a beautiful, I love it in the bone. Isn't it beautiful? And I was watching um, Indubitably Sinise. She purchased some large wristlets in the new collection, um, which after this, I'm like, I probably need to pick up some of those because I really do like this Carrington now. I'm like, okay, I'm a Carrington fan now. Um, so I think I'm gonna grab one or two of those eventually, but that's my Carrington story. Um, this is my third attempt <laughs> and the third time is a charm with Carrington. So yeah, I have one more piece I'm going to show you. And that is this piece right here that I also picked up at the same sale. And it's the Americana makeup bag. Ah, oh, I saw this, um, maybe last year when they introduced it, but I didn't jump on it. And I kind of kicked myself. And then when I saw it on the glitch sale come up again, I was like, I got to get this. So I went ahead and snatched it up and I've used it already. So that's why it's not stuffed or anything. But I just, I love this piece. It has all these great colors in it. And you know, if you've seen any of my old videos, you know, I'm a total fan of the Dooney zip card cases and the coin purses. So it just, the colors just go with all of my sets. So I, I really, I'm really happy that I picked this up and um, it was a great find on the glitch sale. Now, speaking of that glitch sale, <laughs> another bag I wanted to add into my collection, this is why I didn't do great on my bag then, was the Dylan um, that double pocket hobo. I don't know if that's the right name, but it popped up in a blue and I should have known better because blue hasn't been available for a long time. Um, so I ordered it and when it came, it was, I was expecting it to be a return. So I wasn't going to feel, you know, any kind of way about it being a return. But when I opened it up, it was clearly a used return. 
Um, there was a spot, there was some wear on the corners. I was so disappointed. I called Dooney, um, I packed up, returned it. I still haven't got my refund yet. Um, I called him tomorrow, matter of fact, but I, and I told the rep, you know, I was expecting the bag not to be, you know, brand new, but I wasn't expecting it to be as well, I was expecting it to be returned. I was still expecting it to be a new return. I wasn't expecting it to be a used return. And I think Dooney kind of got in bed with trouble with QVC because to me, QVC has really given people the whole mindset that, hey, you can take this bag home, try it out for 30 days. If you don't like it, send it back. And Dooney's not equipped to handle that. QVC is. So they really got to figure something out that if you're going to accept these returns, that you find a way to market them like QVC has. Um, as as is or whatever so that people know they're getting whatever and and price it accordingly now i don't believe that qvc's as is bags are priced as accordingly either sometimes but sometimes they are sometimes you're getting what looks like a brand new bag as an at an as is price and then sometimes you'll get because i've ordered from them a couple times as is and sometimes you get something that looks like what the heck you know, but you can return. But um, anyway, that's my little rant about that. But yeah, so I did have some success with the glitch sale though in the Carrington and the Americana piece. So um, I now I'm enjoying both of them very much. So yeah, these are my two or three pieces that are getting some use right now. Um, and thank you for joining me. You guys have an awesome day. Bye.